hey guys my name is kapengwe i hope you're good wherever you're watching this video from so i did make like a proper introduction of me sitting down but i, I wasn't gonna put that out because i didn't like it <laughs> do what i embarrass myself so as per tradition with this channel we just have to say our affirmations because it is important to tell yourself nice things so our affirmation for today is i love my hair it being a hair video no now say it with meaning, say it with passion. I love my hair. So without wasting much time, because this is a really, really long ass video, let's get into the video. Enjoy. So before we get to the finger coils, we need to do the unbraiding process. So this is um, five in the morning. Clearly, as you can see, my hair is dry as if. So you get some water and you throughout your head make sure that your hair soaks up all the water and then you're gonna get some oil I rub it through my hands and just a bit in my hair to make it easier when and braiding give it a little like a slip you know yeah so this is uh, a time lapse of me and braiding the hair what is that out of here? I mean, I'm but this is why I don't like doing small braids because it takes me forever to unbraid them. <sighs> A few moments later. So uh, at this point, I'm more than halfway done and I'm tired. My hands are tired. So I I get a band and then I tie the hair that I just unbraided so it doesn't get in the way of the hair that I will be a unbraided. few inches later okay so now done done I'm done done finally um so at this point what I do I run my hands through my hair just to like give it like a pre-tangle situation you get yeah to make it easier when detangling because lord knows i hate detangling my hair it's just a lot of work so that's the length check my hair grows but it grows very slowly even to get the length that i might took like what three four years but it's all protective styles and oils that's how my hair grew just don't play with your hair a lot okay so before we can actually do the finger coils again we have to prep our hair you know we gotta wash it hey guys um so as you guys can see from the from the title, it's a reverse wash day, meaning I'll be starting with the conditioner rather than starting with the shampoo. Now I found that this works for me. You can try it and see if it works for you, because uh, in this method, it's like your hair. It makes it easier to detangle your hair. You get, especially if you've kept like a protective style for a really long time. So I put my hair in twists. Now I just remove the, the band that I tied around it just to keep the twist in Then I lightly detangle my hair while it's is too dry just lightly because we're gonna do more detangling Then after I Drench my hair in water. I make sure that my hair is that water, you know, it's it's soaking soaking wet <laughs> Yeah, so it's soaking soaking wet Take as long as you need you make sure that your hair is uh really drenched in water and i'm using warm water by the way not cold water to open up the cuticles so i'm using this dove conditioner yeah and uh another one from l'oreal paris i hope i'm pronouncing that correct because one of them is about to finish so i get the conditioner rub it through my hair from the roots up with my hands thoroughly as thorough as i can feel me <laughs> yeah and then i go in with the this is a white tooth comb if i'm not mistaken i think that's what it's called a white tooth comb yeah so i use that which, which makes my detangling days very very easy i love this comb yeah so you go in with that make sure that you're gentle with your hair be as gentle as you can i wasn't being gentle with my hair because i was rushing to go do these finger coils 
and then I just go the extra mile with a smaller detangler brush with smaller what can you call them bristles what yeah that's you seen that they are small <laughs> you said they are small though yes that so I use that just to go the extra mile in dangling my hair because you just know how fussy hair it's like poof <laughs> it's a struck yeah so you use that with a conditioner in the hair and you it's not dry and then after I would twist my hair back and tie the hair band around it just to you know keep it in check and then I repeat the process on all four sections so make sure that you wash your hair in sections to get the dirt out to properly get the dirt out so I'm gonna time-lapse it now Okay, so I'm done with all four sections at this point and then I'm gonna put it under a shower cap just to uh, give it like a warm environment for the conditioner to do its conditioning yeah 15 minutes later so after 15 minutes we're going to wash out the conditioner so that we can move on to the next step wash it all out in all four sections but this time instead of twisting our hair after washing it we're just going to put it in like a puff a puff situation for the next step so you do that in all four sections now here this is what happens when you wash your hair regularly look at that look at look at my cool pad <laughs> <laughs> it's coming up <laughs> okay so what you're gonna do there you're gonna get vinegar you're gonna put in any bottle you're going to put one part half of it vinegar half of it water just to dilute it and then you're gonna spray it on your scalp this is what i do i spray it on my scalp i, I spray it also in my hair but it's mostly for the scalp and the reason why i use apple cider vinegar is because like whenever i do a protective style like immediately the next day my hair would be itchy as f guys like itchy for no reason and i recently washed it you know the previous day so i found out that uh apple cider vinegar really does the thing in terms of itchiness you know it makes your hair less itchy i think for those that have dandruff it also does the dandruff thing and just many other benefits so apple cider vinegar really really works so after you use the make sure you rub it very much like the way you, you you rub shampoo on your scalp that's the way you should also rub the upper side of vinegar so you wait for five, five minutes, for minutes later in. then after of course we have to rinse it out and then we move on to the shampooing part so i'm using this indian brand I, I can't even pronounce it guys i'm not gonna lie yeah but it's a very mild type of shampoo so we're going to shampoo all four sections of our hair someone said shampoo is really meant for the scalp and not the hair and i get that because if your scalp is very dry and very dirty it would be very hard for your hair to grow so make sure you aim for a clean scalp the same way you're gonna aim for clean hair you also aim for a clean scalp and healthy hair so that when your scalp is clean your hair is also <laughs> your hair is gonna grow so you rinse it out this time with cold water don't use warm water to close up those cuticles 
to close in to steal in those nutrients I also go the extra mile of just using just applying it like in in between the puffs there as you guys can see yeah <laughs> We are set for a week. We are set for a week, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna see you when I'm doing the tear up. This thing that you guys mentioned. Yeah. So I'm just getting a haircut here, Uncle Creek. So you guys remember Uncle Creek? Uncle Creek from the previous video. Uncle Pushiko boy, Uncle Creek. Hi, how you doing? Know? How you? Subscribe to the channel mm -hmm. and don't, don't forget to click the, uh, the like button. Yes, right. exactly. Guys, can you see my haircut? Can you see my haircut right now? Wow. <laughs> Uncle Greg, you don't want to go. You don't want to go. Shit. Uncle Greg has done the thing. Now we go do the hair so that you look like someone's boyfriend. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey. No, that was too much. <laughs> okay. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? I've I'm going to be ruining the intro. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so guys, this is Maggie. Hi. Hmm? Guys. Look at Maggie, guys. Look, look at that. Look, <laughs> look, bang, eh? <laughs> now, what the part where we're doing the actual hair now. So today we'll be doing what? What are we going to be doing, Maggie? We're going to be doing finger curls. With what? Uh, using Vaseline and water. Only Vaseline okay. and water. So, finger curls. I've never done finger curls ever. You know, I've seen it on each other, you know, other YouTubers do it, but on my hair, this is the first thing here, guys. So the rest of this video is going to be a voiceover. Maggie will be narrating uh, in the rest of the video, so enjoy. Let's get yeah. started. Let's... <laughs> hey guys, let's get started with the finger coils. So firstly, I'm going to unravel the hair, getting it out of the bun, first and foremost. And I go in with my fingers to detangle the hair, making sure that there's no any tangled ends. Next, I go in with a white tooth comb for further detangling. Then I also go in with a spray bottle to make sure that the hair is well moisturized not dry because we need the hair to be damp in order for it to easily form the curls so i continue to detangle with my hands and back again with a comb moving in and finally we get started with the back so i'll start from the back and um that's the first line i'm parting just preparing the hair for the finger curls so I, I, I section out a small portion and the rest of the hair is pinned out of the way so I'm going to be using petroleum gel for these finger coils Next, <clears throat> I get a small portion of the petroleum gel and just run it through the hair with my hand and making sure that that portion of the hair is fully saturated with the petroleum gel for easy working and for proper curls. Then I go in with a detangling brush just to make sure that there isn't any rough patches in the hair. And finally, the most, this is my favorite part. So as you can see, I'm not saying, uh, 
that it will be finger curls and I just go in curl each hair portion and I pick out with my finger and you see the magic I can see the magic in the hair <laughs> so it's, this is really cool I really had a, a great time doing this so let's see how far we go Can you see the magic of the finger coils? Yeah, they are foaming. Can you see the spring in the hair? So because of the, the low temperature as well we are with right now in India, you can see the hair turning. Oh, and this is how far we've gone. We've just finished the first quarter of the head. And we're three quarters into the finger curl. So we've done three quarters of the hair and just a small portion of the hair is remaining before we are done with the finger coils. And can you already see the magic happening? Cause I can. Okay, so we're done with the application of the Vaseline. As you can see, the coils are popping. <laughs> the coils are popping. Okay, so I think you guys can see. Yeah. So what are we going to do next, Maggie? Uh, so the next thing I'm going to apply heat using a blower. I'm going to dry the hair and uh, also melt down the mask because you know, it's way hot. So. The person is solid fine, so I'm going to run through the hair using a blow. Now listen, I know this looks hella weird, but I had to do what I had to do. I had to use my, you know, my mind. I had to be very, you know, experimentative. So I got under a bucket and I put the blow, as you guys can see there, to create like a dryer type of situation because the Vaseline was too much. Even after I dried my hair, as you guys can see, you can still see some Vaseline. But this is the final look, like the night before. Obviously, it looks like the Vaseline is not there, but there's a lot it took me like four days four whole days just for me to get the vaseline out so that's why i had to do that i had to be very you know experimenting my take on finger coils i'm never doing that shit again oh, <laughs> please oh no, no. we are that's penguin. Listen, eh? 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 Eh?